Hello. Come in. I'm going to do a little bit of a different video today, so let me explain. I'm in a hotel room in France, and I thought I would show you guys my kind of morning routine. I've just got up, I've showered, I've got dressed, I've done my hair, but I haven't done anything else. I'm going to show you my morning skincare routine and my kind of simple summer makeup routine. So if you want to come into the bathroom, I'll go do it for you in there. I'll just click my finger. Okay, I'm just going to clip up my hair. First thing I always use in the morning is Bioderma on my eyes. I don't really know why. I, I do cleanse in the morning, but on my eyes I like to use just like a water solution. So I just use a little bit of this on cotton pads and then just sweep it over my eyes. In the evening I like to double cleanse. At the moment I'm using the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. I use that first to get rid of my makeup and then I go in with the second cleanse. But in the mornings, I just like to cleanse once. I mean, some days I don't even cleanse, I just use the Bioderma. But at the moment, I'm using the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, which is really nice because it's it's kind of like the Oskia one, but a bit less oily. It's hard to explain. It's a very simple cleanser, um, and I really like it in the morning. I'm not sure why, but I feel like this cleanser leaves my skin like a little bit more glowy. I don't know what's in it that makes it glow, but Compared to the Oscar, it just feels a little bit lighter and leaves my skin feeling really fresh. Okay, my next step in the morning is a hydrating serum. At the moment, I'm using the Glossier Super Bounce Serum, which I really like. There are a couple of things I'm not sure about this. You don't get much product in there, so I feel like I'm already nearly finished it, and I only got it like a couple of weeks ago. It is very similar to the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, which I think you get a lot more for your money. This one's a little bit more glowy. It's a little bit more like gloopy in formula. The Ordinary one's much like thinner. Um, it's a bit more watery, but I do really like this. I would definitely repurchase it and I've been using it in the morning and in the evening. Okay, this next product I'm so excited about and I'm so glad I picked it up when I was in New York. It's by Dr. Yacht and it's the Ceramidin. So this is a cream. I think there's three products. There's a gel, there's like a liquid and there's a cream. I got the cream formula because I prefer my moisturizers to be cream and this is so great. I've been using it mainly in the morning just because I prefer like a bit of a richer moisturizer at night, but you could definitely use this for both. It's it's a very simple moisturizer, but I can't really explain it. It's like so silky smooth on your skin. It's so crazy hydrating. 100% the best moisturizer I've ever used. Can't rave about it enough. You can't get it in the UK, but Sephora do ship internationally, so I would definitely recommend getting it from Sephora. I really love it. I don't wear SPF every single day, but if I'm going out and it's quite bright outside, then I will put a layer of SPF after my moisturizer. At the moment, I'm using the Glossier Invisible Shield. This is very different to any other SPF I've tried. I usually use the La Roche-Posay one, which is more of a cream sun cream. Um, this one is more of a gel, and it's very thin. I sometimes feel like I'm maybe not as protected as I should be, but you know, it says it's SPF 35, so it should work, and I put like a nice thin layer all over my skin. Whilst I'm here by the sink, I'll just talk through the products that are here, but that I don't use in the morning. The Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover I use in the evening to get rid of my eye makeup. Even though I have the cleansing oil, I'm just weird. I like to remove my makeup in different steps, so I like to take my eye makeup off first, then I do a first cleanse, and then I do a second if I can be bothered. And then this is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich, which I use in the evening. I mentioned in my haul that it kind of made my nose go red and react when I first started using it, but that's completely stopped now. My skin's obviously adjusted and it's just a really nice, very hydrating moisturizer to use in the evening. My favorite it cosmetics CC cream it's just so easy I use it at home and when I'm traveling I mean it really is the only foundation I wear these days just really light and glowy next up is the milk flex concealer I really really love this concealer but I don't know if I got a faulty one or something but mine is empty I've almost finished it after like two weeks so I'm gonna order another one from Sephora and see what the deal is but as long as it just hasn't got like a tiny amount of product in it, I would really recommend it because it's a really lovely concealer. As always, my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. At this point, I always like to do my brows. So I've just realized that I brought with me the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I forgot to put it on and I don't have any kind of highlighter. So I'm actually gonna just use like a dot of this and just put it on the tops of my cheekbones because it's basically just like a glowy, subtle highlight anyway. 
I love a liquid highlighter. I just think it looks so natural on the skin, especially when you're out in the sun. I feel like powdery highlighters just look too much. For blusher, I'm using this one from Benefit, which is California. It's very peachy pink, but I really like it. I've been wearing it a lot in the summer. And it smells insane. It literally just smells like summer. Oh, it's so good. For my eyes, I'm using the Anastasia Caramel eyeshadow, which I really like. And this is one of the, these are one of the, like the new Real Techniques brushes that are like the softest things ever to touch your skin. I'm just putting like a really light layer. Don't want anything too intense. Just a little bit of brown eyeliner just on the outer corner. Okay, two mascaras, very extreme, but it's because the weather's so hot. So I'm gonna use my Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara, and then just one layer of the Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara, just on top to kind of seal it in. The reason I don't use the waterproof one on its own because I don't think it's as good. For me, waterproof mascaras are like a bit more subtle. And then I have a few lipsticks with me, like a nude and a red. Actually, I've just got two, a nude and a red, but I think I'm just gonna leave my lips for now, maybe put a bit of lip balm on. Sometimes I just like to wait and see how I feel like after doing my makeup. So that was my kind of morning skincare and makeup routine at the moment, just to let you guys know, Obviously, I changed my skincare routine up quite a bit, and these are just the things that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. It doesn't mean that I don't still love the things that I've recommended before, like the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel, the Ordinary Products. There's still so many other things that I love, but at the moment, this is my little edited routine, and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm pretty much good to go for the day. I'm just gonna put on some of the Clinique Virtue Oil Body Mist. It's like an SPF 30. I'm gonna put that on before I go out in the sun. I'm gonna grab my Ray-Bans. These are my little blue fold-away sunglasses. I'm gonna throw those into my handbag. I think today we are going to explore some lavender fields which would be really nice. Thank you to Anna for filming, for being my little videographer and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you on Wednesday for my next video. Bye! Woo! It's a wrap.